Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to be getting this look using a full face of products from Wet n Wild. <laughs> <laughs> my three-year-old almost three-year-old he'll be three in july um is in this phase where everything is mom so it doesn't matter what he's doing mom it's a bird mom a train mom da, 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 da. mom 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 so you probably can hear him calling my name in the background he's fine he just wants to tell me everything um so quickly i'm gonna prime my face with my three-in-one primer water this is the coconut smell i really haven't seen any difference and the performance of these sprays as far as the scents. I just personally like the coconut one. So then I'm gonna go ahead and jump in to my brows using my Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. It is a very rainy day here today. And I just feel like putting on some makeup. It's already almost 3.30 in the afternoon, but we, well, we, I say we, I so have felt very productive today, done laundry, done school with the boys. I've been doing just a little something with my almost three-year-old because he's smart as a whip and I just feel like he needs something extra to stimulate him and keep his brain learning. So me, him, and his brother do school. I love this brow pencil. This is a really good quick brow pencil. And of course it has the spoolie on the end, a good shade range. So you should be able to find one that works for you. So there are the brows. So I'm also going to go ahead and this is my first time. Uh-huh. This is my first time using this product from Wet n Wild, but it's their concealer. Um, I got the shade Light Ivory. I really wanted the shade Fair, but they didn't have it. And I wanted to pick this up for the video because one, I have never tried Wet n Wild's concealer. And two, CVS had Spin 10 get seven back. So I got this and this mascara to try out because I don't have a mascara. These are the only two products I didn't have from Wet n Wild. And so I went ahead and picked that up and so these only cost me like $3 because I think it was just about four and change and five and change. And then I got $3 back, or excuse me, $7 back and extra bucks. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this to prime my eyes. Like I said, I wish I had, excuse me, been able, I wish I had been able to get the shade fair, but they didn't have it. And then, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild palette, Rosé in the Air. And I am just going to take some of this shade and set my eyes. I'm so excited. My stepmom ordered me an L-shaped desk for my birthday. And so I'm going to be switching this up. I don't know if I'm gonna stay this way filming or if I'm gonna flip flop back around to where my bed is in the background. I'm not really sure just yet what I plan on doing okay so I definitely want to go in with this shade right here so I'm going to take this flat brush dip into that shade and pack that on to the um, outer corner it doesn't look very pigmented on here but let's see okay Let's try to see if we can pick up some more. Okay, that took a second to build up, but it's there. <sighs> okay. Then I think I want to go in with this lighter purple kind of lilac shade. I don't know what I'm doing. We're just going with the flow here. Then... I want to take some of that orange shade right here and kind of use that to buff out everything. Again, just we're just going on the fly here. Okay, I'm liking how that orange and that 
kind of purpley shade you're blending out, but I'm not digging that lilac-y purple. Let me use my finger and see if that, no, that's just kind of a muddy dark color. I don't like that. So I think I'm going to try to tap over it with this shimmer, this kind of gold color. Oh, that's kind of chunky. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, that's not working. Houston, we have a problem. Oh, okay. I'm going to go in over that kind of lilac -y shade with my Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Shimmer Liquid Eyeshadow. And this is in the shade Fairy Tale Ending. Now, I have not used this in forever, and I don't remember how it performs. So, here's hoping. Trying not to close my eye. I'm going to go back in with that first kind of purpley pink shade. And then I'm going to go back in, not with anything on the brush, but the brush that I used for that orange shade, and just buff that all the way across. Okay. Then I'm going to take an even fluffier brush, dip into that first shade that we used to set my eyes, and run that up here. Okay, that's dry now. Okay, okay. Let me get a wet wipe. Clean this up and let's see what we think. Okay, that's not bad. All right, let me do the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so that's not bad. That purple shade definitely was what was needed to kind of give this look a little something because just going in with that um, kind of lilac -y shade, that shade was not working for me. So outer corner, all over the lid, but then I went in, like I said, with fairy tale ending, and then this shade to buff out in the crease, and then this shade above that. And that's not bad. I mean, of course I always have that little area that's an issue, but it's not bad. It's not bad. It's pretty. Yeah. Okay, let me clean up this fallout. All right, so moving on. Let's see, do I have eyeliner? Yes. We have the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Waterproof Retractable Eyeliner. Now, I think this is supposed to go in your waterline, right? Am I, am I crazy? I don't know if I've ever put black in my waterline ever oh and a big chunk of it just came flying off awesome exactly what we want i'll be interested to see if this is waterproof because my eyes are already watering now how do you tight line is this tight lining this is terrifying <laughs> that's that's terrifying now i find it funny that i can't do this and yet i can wear contacts like I can I can show a contact in my eye okay we're gonna see if that's waterproof because my eye is pouring water okay so now for the show we have the the show for one I'm interested in this is the max volume plus waterproof hydrofuge mascara in amped black up to 10 times volume 100% waterproof Okay. I'm curious. I used to have one. I think it was like Renegade or something from Wet n Wild. I didn't like it. I didn't feel like it did anything for my lashes. And it had a weird dome ball type applicator on the end. I don't know. It was odd. I was not a fan of it. This packaging is pretty if nothing else. And very resistant to opening. Alright. Let's see what this wand is like. Okay. I'm already digging the wand. Let's see what happens. No mascara. That doesn't look bad. I don't know if that's my favorite, but that is a hundred times better than that Renegade mascara. I can guarantee you that. So let's go ahead and put it on the other. Ow, ow. The other eye. Okay, I ain't mad at it, except there's been a lot of transfer onto my eyelids. 
Wait, hold on, let me make sure you're in focus. There's definitely been transfer. Yeah, on both islands. I'm not a super fan of that, but as far as volume, that's definitely better than the Renegade. Also for primer from Wet n Wild, I'm gonna go in with some of their Prime Focus Primer Serum. Get some in here. Oh my gosh. All right. And the reason I wanted to use this is because I actually am going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, Foundation Sticks. I have not used those in so long. So I want to make sure that I have prepped my face and made it a little bit more hydrated. Because that smells good that foundation stick can have a tendency to stick to <laughs> the stick can stick to my dry patches so let me just mm, 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 mm. moving into foundation stick i have two uh this one is in the shade shell ivory which is the same shade that i use in both of the liquid foundations and then i also have the shade alabaster so here is Shell Ivory and here's Alabaster. I kind of go in and mix them to get a shade that I like. So on the outside of my face, I took that Shell Ivory and on the inside, I did just a little bit of Alabaster. And then I am going to buff that out with this round Kabuki brush um, that I got off of Amazon. And I am going to start with the lighter shade and then work out to the darker shade. All right, well, blending that out was really easy. I'm not loving how it looks right here um, on the center of my cheeks. Like, I kind of wish I'd use more of a pore filling primer. All right, so I'm not loving how it's looking right in the center of my cheek. Like, yeah, you can almost tell right there. My chin looks a little dry right there. Forehead looks great. Yeah, it just looks a little rough right here. Um, again, I wish I'd use maybe a pore filling primer, but I don't have one from Wet n Wild. So, All right, now we're going in with their Photo Focus Concealer. Again, this is in the shade Light Ivory. What is this shade? Gosh, I already forgot. Yeah, Light Ivory, and there is a lighter shade Fair. But again, they didn't have it. So this is what we're working with. I am going to take this little sponge and just give it a little spritz of the 3-in-1 primer water since it's not wet and blend this out. Uh, I'm impressed with that concealer. What? That doesn't look bad at all. Huh. All right, so for powder, I always use this, my Photo Focus Translucent Powder, to set my face. All right, before I go and set the rest of my face, I actually almost forgot. I do have two cream products here. I have the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Stick Highlighter in the shade When the Nude Strikes. And then I have the Mega Glow Makeup Stick Blush in the shade Peach Bums. So I am going to take some of this blush warm it up on the back of my hand this has been said to be a dupe for nars orgasm which actually i do have i guess i could tell you so then i am going to take my beauty blender knockoff beauty blender and grab that and just tap that onto my cheeks this is definitely a product that i have not used in some time and i thought i'm just gonna pull it out and have some fun and see if i still like them or not i mean they're very glowy and they're pretty inexpensive and you can generally get wet and wild especially at cvs like with the extra bucks or a lot of times they'll have buy one get one 50 percent off so i mean that's not a bad price if you want to play with some makeup and you don't want to spend a lot of money all right so there is the blush now i'm going to do the same thing with the highlighter warm it up on the back of my hand make sure i'm getting a different side than what i use for the blush Pick up that highlighter, 
and just tap it onto the high point of my face. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Okay, so now I am going to set my face, go back in with that powder and just lightly dust, especially up here where I'm going to be using bronzer. I am kind of avoiding my cheek area because I don't want to take away the glowiness from the blush and the um, highlighter. Okay, so for bronzer, going in with a uh, tried and true, it's a new packaging, but this has been around forever. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Ticket to Brazil. So I'm just gonna take my Essence Bronzer Brush, tap into this and bronze the face. Very nice. It's a little orangey. I mean, they do definitely have different shades. It's, I would definitely say it's a little on the orangey, yellowy side, but I mean, it's not bad, especially for fair skin, which I feel like some of them are more shimmery than other shades, so that's something to be mindful of. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with my primer spray to set everything down. And then for lips, I have two lip liners here. I think I, oh, that's not lip liner. Okay, I lied, I have one. I have this gel, perfect pout gel lip liner in the shade Lay Down the Mauves. I haven't used this in forever. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just lightly pat over that. I just wanna diffuse the edges just slightly. And then I'm gonna go in with this lipstick in the shade Breeze. I don't know what this is. This is like seriously so old and classic from Wet n Wild. It's still in the old packaging. But again, it's in the shade Breeze. Go over that. Oh, that's a gorgeous combination. Ooh. All right, so let's finish up the lower lash line. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I think I'm going to go in and take a little bit of that purple shade close up to the lash line on a eyeliner brush. Then I'm gonna go under that with a little bit of a fluffier brush and dip into that orange shade. I am gonna jump back in with just a little bit of that eyeliner because when I put my concealer on, I kinda got into this little area. And then let's throw on a little bit of mascara on the lower lash line and I think we will have it. That is a good, that's a good brush for lower lash line. I always have the worst time trying to do lower lash mascara and that worked out well. All right, so here is my full face of all Wet n Wild products. Okay, so my thoughts. I love this powder. This is a tried and true powder that I use all the time. The eyeshadow was interesting. That purp that lilac -y purple shade kind of let me down, but the um, shimmer liquid eyeshadow definitely saved the day. I also have this one in the shade Goldilocks. It's like a greeny gold that I have not used in a while, so I think I'm gonna have to pull that puppy back out too and use it. So yeah, definitely that purple shade saved the look. Um, the eyebrow, use it all the time, love it. The blush and highlight, I forgot how much I like those. And especially together, they look really nice. Like those shades um, look very pretty. This mascara, I don't know if it's my favorite top lash mascara because of the transfer. Um, so for that reason, I'm kind of iffy on it. But for lower lashes, that's the best my lower lashes have looked in a long time. Uh, bronzer, the bronzer's nice, not my favorite shade. The concealer, I ain't mad at it. I'm interested to see how it wears. Um, the lips, this combination of Lay Down the Mauves and then the lipstick in the shade Breeze, that's pretty. That's very pretty. 
And of course the 3-in-1 Primer Water I love. Probably the only product I'm not 100% on is the foundation stick. Um, in the context of using these primers only, this definitely needs a hydrating base, a hydrated base. And I don't feel like I got enough hydration for this product in particular from the primer serum. This is a good serum, however, though. It is good. I like it. Um, so that's kind of my wrap up and my thoughts on this full face of Wet n Wild products. I thank you for watching. I hope you will like, subscribe, and be sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.